America and I went to a fucking Walmart. I was like, oh my God, this is literally the greatest thing. This is the greatest country on earth. Look at the 7 million different brands that I can fucking purchase. A lot of them aren't even allowed to listen to modern Christian music, only old timey hymns. They think instrument and clapping is the hands. What the fuck? Is the devil and the Satan? What? Manufacturers. Okay, bro. What do you want me to fucking advocate for weapons manufacturers? You think I'm going to shake that, dude? think you're gonna be able to shake nabisco my my defense of nabisco with like some bullshit like that dude huh i fucking love oreos motherfucker don't test me jehovah's witness we couldn't play pokemon go because pokemon means pocket monster and satan you were a jehovah's witness are you fucking serious? How the fuck do you go from Jehovah's Witness to a 13 month subscriber Hasanabe head with a username bruh bottom text? That's wild. Don't Jehovah's Witnesses not pay taxes or something legally? Like they don't recognize the American government or am I am I wilding out? I couldn't read Harry Potter. That's wild. Gary guy, by the way, I've yet to see one that's like normal. Okay, the children look normal, like they they can be saved. But I, I'm I'm doing vibe checks left and right, and like every man that I've seen thus far, and a lot of the women too, actually, every man and woman that's like over the age of thirty is so fucking weird. Like they just look so. I don't know. They just look so sus. They're giving really bad vibes. These burgers, including Gary, voted for Donald Trump. God is using Donald Trump to uh, change America and get things right. I believe he... Dude, <laughs> like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You just... Like, that's mental illness, dude. <laughs> just... Out and about, and so many people just straight up are like, yeah, no, that's that's cool. That's normal to think. <laughs> like, how is that different than Michael Pillow? Leader of the Pillow Clan, CEO of Mr. Pillow, My Pillow. They even look the same. He's got the fucking mustache and everything. Michael Pillow just has like a better uh, uh, fake hair, H hair piece. That's so weird, dude. They're like coming in with their fucking leather vests. Lord Jesus, we're here with uh, Caitlin. You know that, Lord. We're just asking for safety within her store, Lord, that there's no problems. Uh, no one comes in and tries to rip her. Bro, they're literally like a, they're like a organ. By the way, this is part of the reason. Also notice the demographics of the school. Now I'm going to mention something really important here. A big part of uh, the, the evangelical movement actually revolves quite literally around segregating schools. And a big part of the school choice rhetoric that you hear from the Republican Party, even to this day, actually is all about like allowing private schools to exist so they can continue segregating schools. That's, that's a big part of the white evangelical like mobilizing uh, attitude in America alongside abortion. That's not true whatsoever. It's not true whatsoever that religious schools, that the evangelical base wasn't originally mobilized around Brown v. Board of Education as a consequence of like uh, desegregation happening in school in the schooling system. You're really coming to me. You're coming to me, okay, a political commentator, and questioning what I just said about an American, a just an American historical fact. That is 1,000% true. Don't look at why so many private schools were founded in the 1970s. Are you fucking insane? Indiana School Choice Voucher Program has been a huge issue. Our state cannot fund public schools because of the money being used for private Christian schooling. Yeah.
Oh, dude. Popcorn says, no, I went to a Christian school that was 50-50 mix. Oh, shit. My bad, dude. Owned. Uh, okay, here. Let's just show you really quickly. School choice. Fresh hacker mans. School choice developed as a way to protect segregation and abolish public schools. The rhetoric choice and freedom stands in stark contrast to the true goals of the true uh, school choice advocates. While Southerners first fought for freedom of choice in the mid-1950s as a means of defying the U.S. Supreme Court's 1954 Brown v. Board of Education decision, which mandated desegregation of public schools, their goal was to create pathways for white families to remove their children from ca classrooms facing integration. Prominent libertarians took advantage of this idea, seeing it not only as a means to provide public uh, uh, options, uh, or providing private options, but also as a tool in their crusade to dismantle public schools together. To be fair, though, I will allow it. I will allow your idiocy in this circumstance because, you know, we're at... Wait, was this the person? No, that wasn't the person. You were, at the very least, like, educated in the United States of America, so obviously that's part of the reason why you are unaware of this, so it's not your fault. 50-50 makes 50% white boys or 50% white girls. 64 years after Brown, how private religious schools are taking America's back, uh, America backwards to segregation. Um, school choice had its roots in the crucial detail of the Brown decision. The ruling only applied to public schools. White Southerners view this as a loophole for evading desegregated schools. In 1955 and 1956, conservative white leaders in Virginia devised a region-wide strategy of massive resistance to high court's desegregation mandate that hinged on state-funded school vouchers. The school board of education provided vouchers, then called tuition grants of $250 to parents who wanted to keep their children from attending integrated schools. Um, the resistance leaders understood that most Southern white families could not afford private school tuition and many who could afford it lacked the ideological commitment to segregation to justify the cost. Vouchers combined with private donations to the new schools and counties facing desegregation mandates would enable all but a handful of poorest whites to evade compliance. Other Southern states soon adopted voucher programs like the one in Virginia to facilitate the creation of private schools called segregation academies. They literally called it that despite opposition from black families and civil rights leaders. Oliver Hill, an NAACP attorney to the uh, key to the Virginia case against separate but equal education that was folded into Brown, explained their position in this way. No one in a democratic society has a right to have a private prejudice financed at the public expense, except just kidding. That's precisely what happened. And also in the 90s, the Democrats also jumped on the. Uh, the Democrats also jumped on that train and uh, were advocates for Americans witnessing homegrown Christian extremism take over. What are we, a bunch of Muslims? <laughs> yeah i love that i love especially because like on in islam you can have an abortion that's the funniest part about this is that like they're always like oh man we're being like fucking muslims over here how crazy it's like no motherfucker you can have an abortion in, in islam like this is this is your shit okay how about you deal with your shit on your own fucking terms, idiot. It's so stupid. Like, they can't... Dude, 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 dude. Like, wasps and, like, white Christian people cannot comprehend a world in which, like, you know, it's their own kind that is, like, responsible for this fundamentalist principle. It has to be something else. It's like an outsider that's pushing... Uh, for this attitude it's like no motherfucker it's you dog it's you yeah david k johnson co-founder he has a pulitzer he has four bestsellers syracuse law lecturer 55 years of investigative reporting It's so weird. Like, it, it, it's such a weird fucking thing to say. What about Jews? No, Jews are uh, cool with abortion, too, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure you can abort. Wait, he's a dad of eight? Dad of eight? Yo, stop. Stop. I didn't even notice that. Stop it. 
Biden's mistake is that he thinks he was elected to transform the country, but he actually, but actually, everyone just wanted less drama. What the fuck is this guy doing? Elon, did you see my ad on Twitter? If you're interested, I'm selling my Turkish citizenship for only 1957, reflecting my birth year. Hope you will not charge me for posting this commercial here. Dude, Turks are always up to some shit, dude. Swear to God, stop. Stop it, Turks. If you look at Segregation Academy in Wikipedia, it eventually just transforms into the definition of a, a private school. Yeah. By the way, remember that guy said that? Remember that guy said that Christian schools are not like that? Or like the evangelical uh, Christian movement wasn't originally formed about... The evangelical Christian movement literally didn't mobilize around school choice as a way to, as a means to segregate. Remember that guy? Remember how wrong he was? Don't ever question me like that, dude. Especially on something like this. Questioning me always is, is the appropriate thing to do. But like there are certain fundamental facts that, you know, you might know wrong. That's so funny. Fake streamer now leftovers. No, I know. This is awesome. I love this fucking uh, where we're, we're going to watch that. Quit worrying about which public school your child may be compelled to attend next year. Let us explain how you can get a first class private education at a modest choice, at a modest cost. Don't worry about it. No black people are allowed in our schools, okay? Um, yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot. Yeah. Also, the IRS decided to revoke tax exemption status from nonprofit segregation academies. That is when the evangelical base mobilized. That is the main reason why. Like, the IRS literally, because they were like, hey, you can't do these segregation academies. You can't do these segregation academies. And they couldn't stop it, okay? They couldn't stop it from happening. So the IRS was like, okay, you're, you no longer have tax-exempt status. And they... Oh, God. Can you imagine? Oh, God. I just, like, imagine a Biden who's actually not a fucking feckless, uh, brain-decaying loser who uh, who actually does eat baby fetuses and, like, drinks the spinal fluid every day and is actually really mobile as a consequence of that and is, like, spry and turns around and fucking actually uses the long dick of the IRS on whoever the fuck he wants to. Starting with Joe Manchin. Oof. I just, I wish, I wish the Brandon, I wish for a Brandon that like the conservatives imagine how he's like, that'd be so sick. Dark Brandon. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, we're done. Yes, yes, yes. The religious right and the abortion myth, all this stuff, blah, 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 reading. We've already covered it like a million times over, okay? Yes, they're fucking racist. Shocking. Real, real fucking shocking. Um, yeah, but w never... All I'll say is this, okay? Uh, sometimes you might not have a access to all the facts, but when it comes to American history, there's one fundamental truth that you always have to remember. At the top of the hour, there's a 60-second ad break, and if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do that for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime. Now, obviously, sometimes it'll come 14 minutes into the hour, okay? That fundamental truth. Uh, but another fundamental truth is that you can avoid said ads as long as you subscribe for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime. Or if you get gifted a sub, pray to God. That you may also be blessed upon this divine day. Uh, here's the woman at break now. But anyway, the, the actual fundamental truth is that, uh, you know, most political motivations come from, uh, most political motivations usually come from, you know, some kind of wh white supremacist route. So if you see like, uh, 
you know, if you have a suspicion that like something might have had like uh, you know a, a white supremacist motivation or whatever the fuck, uh, you know, you might be right. Not always, but a lot of it is from that. No sense of doubt here. I feel like hell is something that you should be afraid of, and it's kind of like a motivation. DW is covering this like a wildlife documentary, dude. It's my favorite when Germans come into America, and they're like, they literally are fascinated. Like they're in the fucking. Like they're they're literally looking at like uh, zebras in the Serengeti, you know what I mean? And here we have a bunch of evangelical demon children being indoctrinated into some of the most fundamentalist aspects of Christianity that's totally made up. They say religion is what you make it, and what we are seeing here is what they've made it to be not good. Oh, dude, what are you, crazy? Not in America. No, dude, what? Fuck no. Our Evangelions. Like, yeah, Neon Genesis, dude. Yeah. The Christian Evas are, are better than the Catholic Evas, the rest of the other Christian. No shot, dude. Look, maybe Protestants, yes. But Evangelicals? Fuck no. Evangelicals are like the separate designation. It's it's easier if you have like a friend or a parent go with you on your date so you can avoid Oh you mean Germany? Yeah, motherfucker, obviously. Like we're talking about Protestants versus fucking Catholics in Europe. That's entirely different. No. Evangelicals are are separate, dude. They're separate. They're not like There's a hospital, a clinic for pregnant women, a home for home. Okay, you're burying the lead there. The clinic for pregnant women and the hospital itself oftentimes will not do abortion, though. Homeless people. Like, in Oklahoma, one nefarious way in which, like, they'll stop you from getting an abortion is unless you go to, like, uh... So, Oklahoma, a lot of... Almost all the hospitals are under a Christian network, right? Which means... If you fucking get an abortion one time under the Christian network, or if they find that you, to, for you to have an abortion, like, they will deny you service. They will deny you hospital care. This is before they even have, uh... This exists even in big cities in Texas? Yeah. This was back in, uh... This is, I mean, they've done this a bunch of times, but. Oklahoma court tossed abortion law on hospital privileges. Oklahoma City, they tossed out a law requiring abortion clinics to have doctors who have admitting privileges at hospitals within 30 miles of their facility. The court ruled that the measure which, allow, which requires doctors to, with admitting privileges to be present for abortions violates both the U.S. No, not that one. Islam's taking abortion. You can have a you can have an abortion. It doesn't matter. Hold on, I'm gonna find the abortion. Did an Oklahoma hospital try to ban birth control prescriptions for an entire town last week? Women in Bartsville in Oklahoma face a terrifying possibility. According to a new religiously based directive from the town's main healthcare system, only one OBGYN in the entire town would have been allowed to prescribe birth control. So access to contraceptives in the city would have gone something like this: Is Doctor Oliver your OBGYN? If so, congratulations, you can continue receiving birth contraception. That's right. According to a report by the Bartsville Examiner Enterprise. Some of this stuff is also not even, like, uh, covered regularly, but one of the things that... Yeah, here it is. Oh, remember when you said that hospitals can't deny you health care? Um, you're wrong. They do. One way that they do it. So, Oklahoma, most of the hospitals in Oklahoma are under the same, like, Christian or Catholic network, and therefore they can or try to, at the very least, stop you from, you know, like, deny you from getting healthcare coverage, or tell you that they're going to deny you healthcare coverage if you fucking have an abortion. And for the record, um, that shit, what we're talking about, what we're talking about is, uh, is, 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 it sounds ridiculous, but...
So cool, our healthcare is so fucked that you just get to fly under the radar. I had throat surgery for free at a Christian Evo hospital last week. They asked if I was gay or bi. I said bi. They said it's fine to be treated, but they had to make aware of the doctors who aren't comfortable. What the fuck? The fuck, dude? What if the fucking non-homophobic doctor wasn't working that day? Do you just die? <laughs> you just die, dude. <laughs> like, fuck it. I'll just die, I guess. <laughs> uh, fellas, is it gay to be all up in the throat of a of a bisexual man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, after all, you're you're going right up in there. You know what I mean? You're you're putting your fucking putting your whole fist down that throat. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the doctor was like i'll say no homo it's fine he put the fucking plastic gloves on he was like i'll say no homo after it's it's okay <sighs> uh but yeah, abortion that is directly intended to the termination is never permitted. Direct sterilization of either men or women, whether permanent or temporary, not permitted in Catholic healthcare institution. They don't do vasectomies either. The free and informed healthcare decision of the person is to be followed so long as it does not contradict uh, Catholic principles. Women denied emergency abortion at Catholic hospitals. There you go. Remember when you were like, hospitals can't deny you medical care. Yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Welcome to America. First of all, we literally have, we ration healthcare off of who can pay for it. So there's like an automatic safeguard, okay? So why wouldn't they also do it off of religion? His gun is just as important as his Bible. What the fuck? Well, I'm carrying a gun because part of a pastor's slash chaplain's job is the protection of the flock, a spiritual and physical. Um, you know, it's 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 part of the job, and I I take it pretty seriously. Bro, this guy is literally like pastors are like cops, but for God, I'm in. It's in Kentucky. I thought they kind of like gave up on it you know what i mean i thought that they were like just done with the whole creationism stuff like they because george w bush era chatters don't remember this um i like kind of remember it because i was an annoying little fucking politics nerd even back then but i remember in like the bush era there was uh constantly like a back and forth arguments about uh how like schools should be able to teach creationism there was also like they banned stem cell research in America, very interesting time. That's why a lot of the 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 foundations of like the alt right originally was actually like anti Bush and anti Christianity atheists that then like thought Obama was Muslim or whatever. Like Islam kind of broke their brain, and they just like fucking really hated and thought that Barack Obama was like actually too nice of the Muslims or some shit. So then they, um. So then they basically became like super reactionary. Stem cells, John Ashcroft, Compassion Conservative, Terry Schiavo, etc. It's God who created the world in six days, about 6,000 years ago. The belief, so called creationism, contradicts fundamental scientific knowledge. And 40% of Americans believe in it. Wait. No, 40% of Americans believe in creationism? This is like a new documentary. No shot. What? Actually, what do I always say, Chad? What do I always say? At least 30% of Americans will believe everything, okay? At least you can go to any, you can go and ask them anything, and at least 30% of Americans will fucking say, I'm with that. So, yep. 
That, that tracks. I mean, what is it? Like 42% of Americans believe that like Jesus Christ is definitely going to come back to Earth before 2050. So there is that too. 40% of Americans believe in creationism. That's wa That's cool. That's cool. We are the stupidest country on the planet. We literally are just, we're so stupid. We're so dumb. This is turning me into like a literal fucking r slash atheist, dude. This is making me upset. Unsalvageable. Night at the creation. Okay, but creationists literally cannot explain di uh, dinosaurs. Wait, no shot. No, this is the Creation Today ministry. This is legit. Oh my god, the full movie is only 35 minutes? Are you fucking serious? The son, Ricky. Oh yeah, divorced? Well separated. It's kind of oh. complicated. Dude, Johnny Sins is in every movie, dude. They, they, ser I mean, I get it. American icon, honestly. Wow, that was really fucking devastating that I found out that 40% of Americans believe in creationism. That's kind of, that kind of bummed me out, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe sometimes it's good not to know that sort of stuff. It's like, that it seems like one of those things that I, I think I'd be better off not knowing. That was, that was cool. That was, the chat taught me a new fact today, and that's really, Really a bummer. Well, I guess Dorshuela did, but studied to earn her degree. Wait, what? Uh, what does she think is being taught in the fucking course? Wait, what? How? How? Literally, how? I was not expecting that. What the fuck? So what? She's like learning stuff in school it, it, during her PhD and she's just like, all of this is fake. Like, it sucks that I have to like memorize all this fake bullshit. Is that how that works? No, but <laughs> I'm becoming more conservative by watching this. I'm literally about to advocate to like fucking make it STEM only, okay? This is why we need... <laughs> by the end of this video, I'm gonna be like, this is why we need to abolish college and... uh <laughs> <laughs> Only stems, uh, stem degrees. Okay. Oh God. Oh no. Dude, how? I I just <laughs> this is bumming me out, dude. <laughs> what the Example. She's literally describing like what the fuck. Bro, throw your degree in the trash, okay? Throw it in the fucking trash, dude. What the fuck? She's just saying, like, she just walked us through her fucking steps of cognitive dissonance. Dissonance. Like, she actually said, like, oh, it's an ape, but it was not an ape, so we reshaped it to be a human. Like, if you know that, then if you recognize that, then don't you recognize that it's like, you know, don't you fucking finally recognize that if you have a slurp juice and you shape the fucking ape ass into a human ass, it's still an ape. And therefore your slurp juice could create three different apes. What the fuck, lady? Worldview. when you talk about like carbon dating like what does it break their brains like do they think that that's like fake because you have to like shut off entire fields right like do they think carbon dating is fake it's like when you talk to a fucking flat earther and you're like so what happens when you fly on a plane and they have to like scramble to try to figure out like a way to to justify it <laughs> it's devil worship they literally think that? They think it's fake? Like someone made it up? Oh my god, dude, what the fuck? 
They made it up. How could you figure that out anyway with your human brain? <laughs> My limitations uh, mean you are limited in a similar capacity. She thinks carbon dating is real, but they changed the years. Yeah, I. the more I watch this, the more I realize, like, of course these people are fucking QAnon, you know? Of course QAnon was going to take root. Dude, 40% of Americans are creationists. Like, that, that, that greatly redefined the way I look at this country. I'm not even kidding. Like, there is no difference between, like, like, you are a target... America's a target rich environment for schizophrenia that you can, like, uh, you know, break people's brains into to having it an adult, as an adult. Like, you just... There are numerous studies conducted on this, and, you know, no disrespect to the Jehovah's Witnesses, but unfortunately, um, a lot of, like, ex-Jehovah's Witnesses are very susceptible to getting caught up in uh, multi-level marketing schemes, and so are Mormons, right? And what they've found time and time again is that if you are in a, if you're growing up in a super religious environment that is isolated especially from the outside world something in your brain dramatically changes and you like you're not a very skeptical person as a consequence of that so you're way more susceptible to believing people when they when they lie to you and and that's why there are so many studies conducted on like uh you know Mormons and ex-Mormons sorry and and Jehovah's Witnesses and whatnot that like find themselves trapped in multi-level marketing schemes. And and this is not really that different either from that. Like if you're an evangelical, there's 70 million of them. And 40% 40, 40 of Americans believe in fucking creationism. They'll believe in anything. They can believe in anything. If you can believe in creationism, you can literally believe in anything. It is probably no different. I mean, I wouldn't say it's that much different than, like, believing in flat Earth. If there was a fact out there that said, like, you know, 40% of Americans believe in flat Earth, like, that would be terrifying. 